Maths on the high seas. The radio was invented in 1895. Invented is how to say inven. Invented. The radio was invented by the Italian immigrant called Marconi. With a radio, you could get someone to come and help you even if your boat was sinking. The Titanic made a distress call using Marconi's radio technology. If you were in a storm 10 miles away from the shore, north, south, east, west are not accurate enough for the Coast Guard to find you, so bearings were invented. Bear rings. In bad weather, the radio man heard six, one, 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 six, six. This was dangerous because with 360 degrees, it could mean the bearing 161 or 116 or just 61. So the rescue team waited until they heard three numbers, 016, before they set off on the right bearing to save you. That is why there's no such thing as bearing as 16 degrees. It is 016 degrees. Nought, nought, nought is north. Then measure the angle clockwise. You're at Aberdeen, A, and want to go to Bath, B. You let your compass point at north. Then go in the direction your compass says 098. Bearings drop the degree symbol. Right, okay, Aberdeen, Bath. Uh, Aberdeen and Bath aren't really in that direction, but never mind, it would do. Uh, Aberdeen, the arrow is always pointing towards the north. 98 degrees is on there. And when you're at B, the arrow is always pointing towards north. 98 degrees is here. This is 180 degrees because it's a straight line. So what's this angle? Bearing questions are often asking this. Well, 98 plus something equals 180. 98 plus 82 degrees equals 180. Hey! 98 plus 180 equals... And, um, oh, okay, this is doing it the other way around. Well, I'm going the whole 360. 98 plus 180 is... Two uh, uh, two hundred and seventy eight. The bearing from Bath to Aberdeen from Bath to Aberdeen. Oh, okay, because you have to go clockwise to get the bearing is two hundred and seventy eight. Cool. You are now at Bath and want to go home. You let your compass point north, then go on the bearing two seven eight. The cardinal direction north is the top of a map. South, or unless it's some maps in Japan, not that way. South is the bottom. West is left and east is the right. West and east spell we. North east is halfway between north and east at 45 degrees. Uh, the bearing of north is naught, naught, naught. Then bearing... Angles go clockwise. Yep. Denver is at the bearing 195 from Cardiff. Oh, A, B, C, D. That's why I did it. Bearing. Uh, what bearing is Cardiff from Denver? Okay, draw a map. Uh, Denver to Cardiff from Cardiff. 195. Okay. So there's Cardiff. There's North. 195 is slightly over 180, so it's there. So Denver is at bearing 195 from Cardiff. So Cardiff, Denver's down here. Denver. What is the bearing of Cardiff from Denver? Well, there's north. 90, 90. Uh, north, north. Just put north, Gary. Just put north, north. Right, you can see this bearing is quite a small angle, but what is the angle? Right, okay. So we can go like that, that's 180. This angle here is 195 the degrees. This angle here is 15 degrees more than 180. So that's also 15 degrees because with two parallel lines all both pointing towards north, they're parallel. If that's 15 degrees, then that must be 15 degrees. Way! My name's Good Luck Gary. I work at the international schools in Hong Kong. I also come at the weekend to help students and in the evenings to help them with their maths and their science. Uh, press like.
press subscribe. And if you want me to come and help you in your home or Skypey lessons, then get your mum to send me an email. Good luck, Gary, HK at gmail.com.